Hey guys, I am getting to try out my Virus 2 Griffin spam list. It is two Gorgons, Discordia, Imperatus, five Griffins, uh, double Arcanus unit, triple Arcanus, and Lanissa. And it's going up against um, Severius 1 with the, uh, not the Judicator, it's the Revelator, the other one. The one that has stealth, doesn't have the sprays, but has the rocket pods. And it's a pretty jack heavy list. Uh, my opponent really wants to put the Colossal out on the table and figure it out and find a list that works with it. So this is this is a very much a trial list for him. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about this and list building here as the game quickly develops. I go first, which is awesome. Uh, I get up the board. I put out deceleration. I put out Discordia's uh, plus two armor buff. Um, I haven't played the Discordia under Virus 2 before, and I made the mistake of not allocating to him and instead allocating to Griffins. So my Arcanist unit had to go and fix that. Luckily, they walk six and have six commands, so they can put out their Empower uh, 12 inches away, so this isn't going to affect me a whole lot. Saved by cool rules, I guess. His turn, he's going to come up and he's going to shoot some stuff, and that doesn't do a whole lot. Um, deceleration and Kinetic Imprint and Shield Guard just spread things around so it doesn't really play much of a role at all uh so yeah what i'm going to do is try and kill that arc node that's right there in the forest put the rest of my army behind the forest out of his threat ranges and just sit on the scenario and let him come into me because it's a really 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 awkward situation for him because i went first and i got so far up the board his army's not fast it makes it so that he can't get me out of the zones. He, he just can't remove me. He doesn't have the threat ranges to get me out of the zones and bull, bully me out of the zones. And that's what happens. I'm into the crusader, cru, or into that crusader's face over here. So his turn. This is really awkward and weird for him. Um, his choices are come up into the zones and die because I can remove anything that he puts... Anything he puts in those zones, I can remove. All of it, pretty much. Or don't and lose on scenario. Um, it's a really awkward situation. He does not like it at all. I don't blame him. And we're going to talk about this from a list design perspective because, I mean, I, I'm just sitting here racking my brain thinking, what else can he do? And I'm just not seeing it. I, I, I just Everything's out of threat ranges for melee. That Crusader can beat on the Griffin. Yeah. But that's it. And that's just not enough. That is not enough at all. So he takes some more shots. He beats down the Griffin with the Crusader. And he puts his other Crusader into the zones. Um, and then he keeps his two Jacks threatening, hoping that I can't get rid of both Crusaders. Um, I do. Imperatus goes and kills the Crusader on the right. And I keep abusing that forest and put my army on the right-hand side of that forest so that I can go through it and get to the left side next turn. Um, I set myself up, so I'm gonna score this right-hand zone, and Virus is gonna score that central zone. And then Discordia and a Griffin kill this Crusader, and the two Griffins over there go over there and destroy that uh, objective. I scored that zone last turn. Uh, that is one thing you could have done differently. You could have run um, a solo into that zone, something to throw away. But it, it wouldn't have changed the big scheme problems of this situation. Um, yeah, I, I scored four points. I was already at one and it took me to five and I won it. Do, when you're list building, he needs a screening unit. He needs a screening unit or he needs a plan for if you don't have a screening unit. For example, my, my virus two list and say Slayer spam or say, um, another good Jack spam. That's fast. Uh, what's that dude? Not Resnick, the, the guy that can't be knocked down and has the little whippy thingy going around him. He's in Menoth. He's got, uh, gosh dang it, why can't I think of him? He's like an amazing freaking jack caster. He's got mobility. He's got uh, synergy. Uh, you guys you guys all know who I'm talking about, and I just can't think of his name right now. Man, I'm so bad with names. I deserve some lashings over the back for this. Anyhow, the, the common theme between all those jack lists is that the jacks are fast and can hit hard and have lots of fixers and have some sort of survivability mechanic put in place. Um, 
And the reason why that's important is because if he had gone first and he had a fast list and he grabbed the middle of the table and he can kill almost all my army, I can take my army and instead of playing the game he wants to play where his whole army alpha's on me, I can run my entire army into the right side or the left side of his army and then make it so that only half of his army gets the alpha on me. And with only that half of an army, he's not going to kill me. Uh, but because he's playing Minoth Jacks, they don't have that speed. They don't have that tactical flexibility. You can't reposition his whole army into one of the zones and say, this is my land and I'm not going to lose it. Um, he can't do that. He's pretty much just got a Minoth position. He is. you got to go up the board from where you are. It's the same with Kador. It's, it's very unfortunate because this, this list just doesn't have... It, it's disadvantaged in a lot of ways. You need things to give away to control scenarios. You need things, or you need a, a way of playing that differently. Ron, I don't plan on giving things away. Sometimes I do, but with Ron, I just control them out of the scenarios. I take them out of the scenarios so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, there, there's got to be a plan for the scenario game. and this I don't feel like this game fell apart in play style or making bad decisions or anything like that. It just fell apart when I went first and he didn't have anything to give away that he could give away. And that's, it's pretty sucky to say. So we talked about that a little bit. Um, and, uh, this Menoth player, he's looking at other lists. He's looking at, um, taking single colossal and then lots of units. And I actually really like that direction. It's, it's a kind of successful strategy because the units can get rid of whatever can handle the colossal and the colossal can usually, yeah, just run the board and do its colossal things. There's some positioning issues. Like a lot of the times the units can get in the way of the colossal, but I think he's going to have a lot more success than this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too, I'm not too sure about this virus two list. I liked the way it played. It's less, jacks than what i'm used to playing with Fire Rose 2 uh but they hit harder they have more they i love the sprays and there's so much more focus because of the free arcanus units from uh from cid also lanissa missed that stupid crusader gosh dang it like come on lanissa just come on roll roll good dice for me once it didn't change anything in the game it's just it's funny um I'm probably going to drop Linus out for either a Magister or Eris. Eris, so she can dedicate it, sit on a flag. Magister, because whip snap, no one remembers, and it is amazing when Imperatus gets two extra inches of threat. Just boom, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's that. Let me know what you guys think, and thank you for watching.